Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this class. <clears throat> In the previous class, we had seen. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. We had seen uh, uh, the lens formula, the magnification, and uh, so on. We had solved some problems on magnification as well. I hope all of you remember it. Yes or no? It's on your screen right now. We had done the lens formula. We had done the magnification and so on. In today's class, we will try to wind up whatever is left. And whatever is left is known as a combination of lenses or combination of lens with a mirror and so on. Now, if you have a combination, when I say combination, uh, it may be a combination of two lenses. It may be a combination of two mirrors. It may be a combination of lens and a mirror. The first thing that you must understand is the total magnification that comes from the uh, combination. So remember the total magnification, if there are a number of refractions or number of reflections, then the total magnification will be M1 multiplied by M2 multiplied by M3 and so on. For example, there are two lenses. What is the total magnification produced by both the lenses put together? You will find the magnification by the first lens. You will find the magnification by the second lens. You will find the magnification by the third lens and so on and multiply all of these. So from that, you will get the magnification, whether it's coming from two lenses, whether it's coming from two mirrors, it's coming from a combination of lens and a mirror, whether they are two, whether they are three, whether they are four, or whether they are a large number. I hope you all understand this, yes or no? So this is the formula of magnification. I think we have given it. If I have not even given you, this is the time that you can learn this formula. Now remember one more thing that uh, will be needed here is the power of the mirror. And I think I've already told you power of the mirror is one by focal length of the mirror. If it is in uh, uh, meters, it is minus one by F or if it is in centimeter, it is minus 100 by focal length in centimeters. I hope all of you remember this. Similarly, for the lens, power of the lens is minus one by F if it is in meter. Oh, it is plus one by F if it is in meet, uh, meter or it is plus 100 by F if the focal length is in centimeters. Do we understand this? Yes or no? Please raise your hand so that I know that uh, we are understanding this. Uh, <clears throat> we have already gone through this formula. Now what we are going to do is a, a combination and the simplest combination that we have is the combination of two lenses. There could be uh, I hope you imagine, you can understand that there could be more than two lenses or there could be a lens and a mirror, but that does not make any difference to the eventual formula. If you have two lenses and I have drawn here just convex lenses, they could be concave, they could be one convex and one concave. If you have two lenses which are close in, which are kept in contact with each other, as you can see, these two lenses are in contact with each other. One lens has a focal length of F1, the other lens has a focal length of F2. Now, this combination of lenses will again act as a lens. If I want to find the focal length of that lens, the focal length of that lens will be 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2. If there are three lenses, it will be 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 plus 1 by F3 and so on. So this basically behaves as a lens. You can write this formula in terms of focal length. You can also write this formula in terms of power of the combination. Power of the combination will be P1 plus P2, where P1 is 1 by F1, the power of the first lens. P2 is uh, 1 by F2, the power of the second lens. Do we understand this? Everyone, please raise your hands and let me know that we understand this. Yes, sir and that you have written this down. Simple, simple things. I'm putting everything in black and white. Oh, it's not black and white. It's probably white and uh, red. Red is the ink. I hope you understand this. And then uh, you are noting everything down because anything <clears throat> that I'm telling you, each and everything is a potential question in itself. They can come as separate questions. They can come 
as a question which a uh, problem which helps us in solving some other problems now the next case is next case is when we have when we have combination of two lenses but those two lenses are not in contact if those two lenses are not in contact and if they are like this they are placed at a distance d from each other remember again remember again see that this combination also behaves as a lens and if i want to find out the focal length of this lens i can find it out by this formula 1 by f will be 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 up till here it is uh, same as the previous formula minus d by f1 f2 that is the term that gets uh, added here minus d by f1 f2 where d is the distance between the two lens f1 f2 are their focal lengths you can write the same formula in terms of power the total power of the lens combination will be p1 plus p2 minus d times p1 p2 so these are the formulas that you have to remember for combination of two lenses we'll also see formula for combination of lens in a mirror but let us first uh, try to understand this this combination this combination behaves as a lens remember the combination of two lenses or three lenses will always behave like a lens now they can ask you other questions the other questions include where will the image be formed what will be the magnification and so on we can easily calculate them i'll give you one minute to note everything down the simple formulas and then i will give you a question that we will solve using just now what we have learned so one minute to note it down bacha please let me know once you are done so that uh, i can uh, move forward If you are done, please let me know. So that we can move ahead. Completed, sir. Okay. So here comes a question. I think. Sir. Yes, beta. Sir, there is a mic problem. There is my problem. Okay. So. Test. Will... Yes, beta. Test, sir. I hope you have done this. Are you ready for the next question, beta? I guess yes. Okay, um, I understand that you have a mic problem, so I will wait for two minutes and then I will start. So I think we are done with the question. Now comes the question which we are supposed to do. I have got a combination of two lenses here. You can see this is my lens number one and this is my lens number two. So we are going to do a couple or maybe three questions in this so that we understand how we can solve any question if it comes of this type in your neat exam. They will not ask you three. They will only ask you one. What is the focal length of the combination? Probably, but let us solve uh, all the three. Find uh, f and p of the combination. So this is a combination of two lenses. Can you tell me the focal length of the combination and the power of the combination? I'll give you one minute to solve this.
please let me know once you are done so that uh, I can go ahead with the solution and the answer. Okay, so how do we uh, do this? This is very simple. We just apply the formula 1 by f will be equal to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2. I put the first focal length as plus 10 plus the second focal length as minus 20. You can get the answer for focal length from here. I think you will get 1 by f as 20. So my focal length becomes plus 20 centimeters. Do we get this? Yes or no? No, yes. Focal length, you will get it as plus 20 centimeters. I hope everyone is there with me on this. Now, once you get the focal length, you can straight away find the combination the power. How do you get the power of the combination? How do you get the power of the combination? You just find out the inverse of this focal length. Power of the combination is inverse, but it is in centimeters. So I'll have to use 100 divided by 20. I hope you understand this. 100 divided by 20 because focal length is in centimeters. And I will have my answer as plus 5 diopters. That will be the power of this combination. Do we understand this? Yes or no? No, yes. Since the power is given in centimeters, it is not given in meters. So I will have to use the formula 100 divided by F plus 5 diopters is the power. The second thing that we are supposed to find part B is find the position of image. Find the position of image. I means image. Here, as you can see, there is an object placed at a distance of 10 centimeters from the combination. We have to find out the position of its image. I'll give you two minutes to work it out. Find out the position of the image. Where is the image formed? In this case, two minutes. I hope all of you have tried this. Shall I do it? How will you get the position of image? Now remember, this combination of two lenses, as I've already told you, it will behave like a lens only. And we have already found out the focal length of that lens. Now we know the focal length of the lens. We know the value of you where the object is i can now straight away put the formula of lens one by v minus one by u is 
1 by f. I hope you understand this. I will put the values. I do not know the value of v, so I will put it as v minus 1 by what is the value of u? u is this. And these are coming like this. u will be negative. The value is minus 10. I hope you understand this. That will be equal to 1 by f. What is the focal length? We have actually calculated the focal length of the combination as plus 20. So I just put plus 20 here, my dear friends. I will calculate this. I will calculate this and I will get the value of V. Can you tell me what is the value of V you are getting from here? What is the value of V that you are getting from here, Bacha? Anyone? What is the value of V that you get from here? It's a simple calculation that you can do. Anyone with an answer? I think you would have calculated it and you will get the answer as minus 20 centimeters if i am not wrong that would be the answer for the position of the image i hope you understand this yes or no no yes now once you get the value of uh, well done everyone once you get the value of u v everything you can also find out the value of magnification find the value of transverse magnification or lateral magnification there are a number of ways which, in which you can do this you can use it, the formula f upon f plus u, or since now you know the value of v and u, you can straight away use the formula of magnification for a lens. Remember, magnification of a lens is equal to v by u. We have already found out the value of v. The value of v is already known to us. The value of u is already known to us. We can put the formula and get the value of magnification. Remember, everything that we do, Values must be pushed with proper sign convention. The value of V is minus 20. The value of U is minus 10. If you divide it, you will get magnification as 2. Magnification is coming at positive. That means what type of image is formed? The value of magnification is coming at positive. Is it a real image? Is it a virtual image? Yes, I have already told you that. Tell me. Try to recollect and tell me. What will, what type of image is this would be? Will this be a real image or will this be a virtual image? Yes, my dear friends. Real image or virtual image? Yes, but tell me, real image or virtual image? Magnification is positive. That means the image has to be virtual. I hope all of you recollect it. For real image, magnification is negative. That is the third question. The fourth question, if that can be made, find the height of the image. And in that case, they will also give you the height of the object, which I am showing here. Let us say that the height of the object is 5 mm, 5 millimeters, small object, 5 millimeters. Can you tell me what will be the height of the image? These are the only four questions that can come. If you understand how we have done this, first we have calculated the focal length of the system and then we have simply applied the formula for lens then the formula for magnification and now we are trying to do trying to find out the height of the image the height of the object is given in the question straight away it is given as 5 mm and you now tell me what is the height of the image i'll give you two minutes
Yes. Anyone got the answer for the height of the image? Height of the image. How do you get the height of the image? We know the formula for magnification is also height of, of the image divided by the height of the object. And we got this magnification as 2. And remember, the height of the object is already known to us as 5 meters, 5 millimeters, sorry. So therefore, we can calculate the height of the image. It is very simple calculation. Height of the image will be two times the height of the object. And I will end up as height of the image will be 2 multiplied by 5. And that would be equal to 10 mm. These are the questions that can come for this particular type. Do we understand this? What we have done? Stepwise, first of all, we knew that this is a combination of two lenses that will behave like a lens. We will write this as an important note. Then we found out the total power of the combination and the focal length of the combination using the formula. Once we know that it is a lens, we know the focal length of the lens, we know the value of u, we can calculate the value of v. Once we get the value of v and u, we can calculate the magnification. Once we get the magnification, we can find out the height of the image if the height of the object is given. Do we understand this? Yes or no? Can I have somebody raise hand that we understand this? I'll give you two minutes to note this down. Please let me know once you are done, Bacha. I hope everyone has noted this down, yes or no? Then we will move ahead and write an important note. Write this as an important note. A combination of a combination of two or more lenses always behaves like a lens. When we have two or more lenses, the combination of two or more lenses always behave like a lens. Please remember this. Please note this. I'll give you a couple of minutes to note it down. I hope everyone has noted this down, yes or no? Well, then we will uh, move on ahead and we'll write the next setting. And the next setting is combination of lens with a mirror. What will happen if 
a lens is combined with a mirror. Remember, combination of a lens with a mirror. And with that, write an important note. Combination of lens plus mirror will always act like or behave like a mirror. Please remember this. The combination of a lens and a mirror will always act like a mirror. Do we understand this? Combination of two lenses always behaves like a lens, but combination of a lens with a mirror always behaves like a mirror. I hope you all understand this. I hope you all understand this. Yes or no? No, yes. Combination of lens and a mirror will always behave like a mirror. Let us say that we have a combination like this. This is a lens. I call the lens by L and I call the mirror by M. This is a combination of a lens and a mirror. This will effectively behave like a mirror. And the focal length of this combination will be given by this formula. 1 by F will be equal to 1 by Fm, focal length of the mirror, minus 2 divided by Fl. 2 comes here with the focal length of the lens. Why 2 comes here with the focal length of the lens? Because you can imagine an object in front of this combination. It will first get refracted by the lens. Then it will fall on the mirror. And then again, it will come back through the lens. So there will be two refractions from the lens and one refraction from the mirror. Therefore, it will be 1 by Fm minus 2 by Fl. If you write it in terms of power, it is very good. Power of this combination will be power of the mirror plus 2 times power of the lens. So if you write this formula in terms of power, in terms of power, this formula looks a lot better. There is no negative sign there. But uh, in case of if you write this formula in the form of the focal length, the formula has a negative sign. I hope you understand this. Yes or no? No. Yes. I'll give you a minute to note this down. I hope everyone has noted this down. Yes or no? No, yes. Let us move ahead and uh, just do it as an example. If I have two lenses, let us say F1 and F2 and one mirror, how will this behave like? Even if there are two lenses but one mirror, it will still behave like a mirror. And how can I find the focal length of this combination? I will do 1 by F will be equal to 1 by F. M plus 2 by F1 focal length of the first. Oh, sorry. It will not be 2. Even I made a mistake. Minus 2 by F1 minus 2 by F2. I hope you understand. There are two lenses. So 2 times F1 and F2 are coming. And both are, both are multiplied by 2 each. I hope everyone understands this. This formula, as I always uh, keep on telling you, is easier in terms of power. Power of the combination will be power of the mirror plus 2 times power of the lens 1 plus 2 times power of the lens uh, 2. You can write it in this fashion. If you have a number of lenses like this, you can write the general formula. And the general formula will look like this. 1 by F will be equal to 1 by Fm minus 2 into summation of 1 by fi. I hope you understand the summation sign. 2 is taken out 
and all the and all the focal lengths are inversed and added you can also write the general formula for the power power of the combination will be power of the mirror plus two times summation of power of the individual lenses i hope everyone is taking notes down every part of this note is a potential question in itself they can come directly as question in your examination hall in your exam in your paper or they may come as numericals no matter how they come we must be able to tackle them yes or no no yes i'll give you 2 minutes to note this down I hope everyone has noted this down. Yes or no? No or yes? Okay. Let us move ahead and look at the next combination. This combination is sometimes also known as silvering of the lens. So what I have done here is I have taken a lens. It may be a concave. It may be a convex lens. And I have silvered the one surface of it so now also if you can see and uh, understand it again behaves as a combination of lens and a mirror it again behaves as a combination of lens and a mirror do we understand this yes or no no yes it again behaves as a combination of a lens and a mirror you can see light this ray of light when it passes it will pass once through the lens then it will be refracted once through the mirror and then it will again pass through the lens so it will pass through the lens twice but pass through the mirror only once again i can write the same formula this will again behave like a mirror 1 by f of this mirror will be 1 by focal length of the mirror minus 2 by focal length of the lens i hope you understand this yes or no no yes raise hands will give me more confidence that we have understood the same concept you can also write this formula in terms of the power power of the combination will be power of the mirror plus two times power of the lens i hope you have understood this this is all that you need to know i'll give you two minutes see this if you have any doubts ask Else, I will give you some questions where you can lock this topic away forever. Two minutes for your doubts and to note it down.
I hope uh, we have noted it down. Then let us move and solve a question. Again, we'll solve one question, but uh, there can be many questions fall in this question. For example, this is a combination given to you. It's a combination of a convex lens and a convex mirror. The first question is, Question number one, find the focal length of this combination. Find the focal length of this combination. You can also find the power. doesn't matter. Uh, whatever you find out, find the focal length and the power of this combination that you have. I'll give you two minutes to do this. I think uh, you would have done this, yes or no, no, yes. How do I solve this? Find the focal length of this combination. How I'm supposed to find out? I'll put the formula 1 by F will be equal to 1 by focal length of the mirror minus 2 by focal length of the lens. I carry on with the formula. So 1 by F, focal length of the mirror, remember, or the combination, remember, will be equal to 1 by focal length of the mirror. This is a convex mirror so the focal length is plus 10 yes or no do we understand this minus 2 by focal length of the lens this is again a convex lens focal length is positive minus so it will be plus so minus 2 by f 2 divided by 10 you can get the answer for the focal length of the combination what are the what is the answer that you are getting? I think you will be getting minus 10 centimeters. Everyone got this answer? Yes or no? No, yes. Please let me know. Do we get this answer? Now remember, this is mirror. The focal length is negative. So this behaves as a concave mirror, which is a converging mirror. Do we understand this? Yes or no? No, yes. Now I can find the power of this combination. This is a mirror, remember. So the power of this combination will be minus 1 by F, but this is in 100. This is in centimeters, so I'll do it by minus 100 by F. And I will get minus 100 divided by minus, uh, minus 10. So the power will come as 10 diopters. Do we understand this? Yes or no? No, yes. Why I've used this minus sign? Because this is not a mirror, uh, this is not a lens, but this is a concave mirror. Do we understand this? Yes or no, no or yes. Now, they can ask us another question. Question number B, find the position of image, the distance of the object is given, from the combination, you have to find the position of the image. I'll give you two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes to solve this. Please note it down.
आई होप यू हैव गॉट द आंसर बच्चा फाइंड द पोजीशन ऑफ द इमेज हाउ आर वी सपोज टू डू दिस रिमेंबर आई नाउ नीड टू अप्लाई द मिरर फॉर्मूला वन बाय वी प्लस वन बाय यू इज इक्वल टू वन बाय एफ आई पुट द वैल्यूज लुक एट यू यू इज हियर लुक एट एफ एफ इज हियर पुट द फॉर्मूला गेट द आंसर स्टे हैप्पी वन बाय वी प्लस वन बाय यू विल बी नेगेटिव सो माइनस ट्वेंटी दैट विल बी इक्वल टू वन बाय एफ एफ इज माइनस टेन You can solve this and get the value of v. Can you tell me the value of v, my dear friends? How much is v coming? How much is v coming? Waiting patiently for the answers. How much is v coming, my dear friends? How much is v coming, my dear friends? How much is v coming, my dear friends? focal length of the lens no focal length of the mirror is minus 10 cm the distance of the object is minus 20 we will be coming as minus 20 yes my dear friend that is correct and the image is formed at the same position now you can also understand why is this image forming at the same position because the object is placed at the center of curvature the object is at center of curvature do we see this object is at center of curvature which is situated at a distance of 2 times f radius of curvature is 20 cm the object is placed at the center of curvature and therefore the image will be formed at the same position do we understand this yes or no no yes can i have raise hands from everyone that we have understood this can now also calculate the magnification if you want to v and u both are equal magnification will be equal to minus 1 remember here magnification is magnification for the mirror the formula for magnification of the mirror is minus v by u the magnification will be coming as negative do we understand this yes or no no yes I'll give you two minutes to note this down. I hope everyone has noted this down. Yes or no? No. Yes. Okay. Now, just remember some important notes about uh, this um, this particular silvering because the, these things uh, would be coming uh, in your exam if you have. If you have a biconcave, uh, biconvex, or a biconcave lens, just remember these important points because that will help you in solving the questions very quickly. Whatever question comes, if you have a biconcave or convex lens, EQ convex lens, the radius of curvature is R and R on both sides. We have already done this. the refractive index is mu remember the focal length of this lens fl will be equal to r upon 2 times mu minus 1 if you can remember these small things it will help you in solving some questions very very quickly and very very simply do you understand this please remember these shortcuts remember your neat exam is more about shortcuts how many shortcuts you can remove Uh, how many shortcuts you can uh, remember and how you can use them 
wisely do we understand this yes or no do we remember it yes or no please note it down if you don't remember it this is case number one case number two many a times you come across is plano concave lens or plano convex lens remember plano concave lens will have negative focal length plano convex lens will have positive focal length if it has the radius of curvature of r remember the focal length of this lens is twice the previous one so it will be r upon mu minus one if it was a concave lens it will be minus r upon mu minus one or minus r by two mu minus one if you can remember these two shortcuts my dear friend it will help you in solving some questions very very simply and very very quickly do we understand this yes or no can you note this down i'll give you a minute Please let me know once you are done. Are you done, my dear friends? Yes or no? No, yes. Okay, I'll wait one more minute. Okay, I guess uh, you are done. Then you can write the third important note. You can easily calculate it. But remember, you don't have to calculate it in the examination hall. If you can calculate it now and remember it, what will be the focal length of this lens when you have the radius of curvature as R and you silver one of these sides, you can easily calculate it by the formula. What formula you will apply? One by F will be equal to one by FM f mirror minus 2 by fl if you apply this formula if the refractive index is mu remember the result because it is a result that is going to matter you don't have to calculate it if you can remember the result the result is the result for this one you can calculate and you will get the focal length of this combination as r upon 
4 times mu minus 2. How did this come? It does not come from some magical trick. It just comes from this formula. When you put the values, you will get this answer. Do we understand this? Just put this values and you will get the answer. Don't worry. Nothing magical here. Just note this down. I'll give you two minutes to do it. Have you noted it down, Bacha? Then there are two more uh, very two or more very general cases and I will give you those, both of those cases also and you can remember both of those cases so that if these questions come in the examination or you can straight away write the answer for this one. Uh, this is figure number A and figure number B. In figure number A, just leave this. In figure number A, you can see the curved side of the mirror is silver. Do you see this? Curved side of the mirror is silver. Do you understand this? The radius of curvature is of this side is R, and here we have a plano concave, a plano concave lens. So this is infinity. Here the radius of curvature is infinity. Here we have the plane side of the lens silver. On one hand, we have the curved side silver, on the other hand, we have plain side silver. Do we understand this? Again, if you find the formula for this case, case number A, which I will write below case number A, you will get the focal length. If you can remember it, it will be R upon 2 times mu. If it is silvered on the plain side, the focal length will come as R upon 2 times mu minus 1. Remember, in both the cases, they would behave like mirrors. Do we understand this? Yes or no? No, yes. This formula has to be used with sign convention, obviously, and they will behave as mirror. Do we understand this? Yes or no? No, yes. Everyone understands this? Please note them down. Whatever formula we have uh, calculated, we have written, they are all to be used with proper sign convention. If you put the proper sign convention, you will get the answer. This brings us to an end of this historical chapter. We have done almost everything that was possible that could come in your exam. Starting from reflection, we understood the laws of reflection. Then mirrors, plane mirror, curved mirror, we moved on to refraction, we moved on to refraction by plane surfaces, we saw the laws of refraction, then we saw refraction at plane surfaces, we saw total internal reflection, we saw prisms, we saw refraction at curved surfaces, we saw lenses, thin lenses, combination of lenses, lens formula, everything that was possible has been discussed, so I'll end this class here in the next class, that is tomorrow, we will move ahead with uh, the next topic which will be wave optics so we will complete optics completely and then we will move ahead i hope everyone has understood this if you have any problems any doubts always come back to me take care have a nice day bye bye